Today we're looking at how the NPS fights climate change. On the surface, this seems like a simple question. After all, the NPS's mission is to preserve unimpaired the natural resources and values of the national park system. However, their legal ability to defend the goal of conservation is limited to areas under their control, namely national parks and monuments. And there's a big difference between protecting natural wonders and protecting nature as a whole. The good news is the NPS is doing their best to tackle both. The National Park Service knows that, while they have made great strides towards protecting everything from endangered wildlife and ecosystems, to the dark night skies in their parks, similar action must be taken on a global scale. Without a doubt, the largest way they contribute to this cause is education. From hand-drawn videos aimed at broad visitor education, to congressional testimony pushing for stronger climate legislation, the NPS is making huge strides in spreading climate education across the country. On top of these general education measures, they are also published Planning for a Changing Climate, a guide for NPS staff on how to best address the inevitable effects of an increasing volatile climate in the parks. Behind many of these communication initiatives is the NPS's own Climate Change Response Program. This program was established in 2010 and has been working ever since to provide training, expertise, and education on the effects of climate change to both NPS employees and to the public. The CCRP was founded on the principles of science, adaptation, mitigation, and communication. With science at the core of their program, the CCRP not only provides solutions for our current understanding of climate change, but future discoveries as well. The NPS knows it has to adapt to a world that is changing faster by the day. Park ecosystems will be subjected to challenges they've never faced before, and rangers will have to be ready to address these issues. For example, a recent NPS natural resource report looked at the risk of relocating species from their natural habitats to areas with more favorable ecological conditions. An idea that would have been unheard of 50 years ago is now being seriously considered as a result of our changing climate. The final CCRP principle to address is mitigation, and it's actually the one you can help with the most. The goal of the CCRP is to mitigate or reduce the carbon footprint of the NPS as much as possible. From conserving water to pursuing renewable energy to simply reducing the amount of waste produced in the parks, the CCRP program brief outlines many different ways the NPS can do its part to help the environment, and the good news is, you can too. Some of the simplest things in the Climate Change Response Program mitigation brief can still have a massive impact when implemented in your own life. Looking for products and recycled packaging, or better yet, reusing existing ones paying attention to your water and electricity usage, even spending more time outdoors to decrease your reliance on heating and air conditioning. All these things can have a positive impact on climate, and maybe even your life as a whole. While we still need government action to address climate change on the global scale it requires, something as simple as keeping yourself educated on climate issues can make a huge difference. Thank you for watching RSC Adventures, and we'll see you next time.